Hello people, what's up? It's Polar Bear Chang. Today we are talking about electron shells and energy levels. Quick review. This is an atom. And all matter is made of it. Um, uh, almost all. It's the smallest unit of matter at which elements retain their properties. An atom is composed of a big collection of protons and neutrons called the nucleus and random whizzy balls called electrons. Neutrons are neutral, protons are positive, and electrons are negative. What distinguishes elements from each other is the number of protons they possess. To be balanced, all elements in the natural state have the same amount of electrons as they have protons. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about electron shells. According to Mr. Bohr, electrons move around the nucleus in special ellipses. Just like in a solar system with the sun being the nucleus and the planets being the electrons. This description is not quite accurate. In actual fact, the movement of electrons is expressed in orbitals, but we'll stick with the solar system model for now. Instead of each electron having his ellipse as in the planetary model, electrons share ellipses. In this model, there are two electrons in the first ellipse. All electrons in this ellipse are in their first energy level. We call this ellipse the 1s orbital. It can hold only two electrons. Additional electrons form a second shell or ellipse on the second energy level. This model shows the different shells or ellipses. Each circle represents a pair of electrons. As you can see, the second level is in the simple. The second level contains an extra ellipse called the 2p orbital. For example, oxygen has filled its 1s orbital with two electrons, then his 2s orbital with another two electrons, but fails to fill its 2p orbital with only four of the six electrons needed. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8, and that is the atomic number of oxygen. As you might or might not recall, the valence shell is the outermost shell in an atom. All atoms want either an empty valence shell or a completed one. The trading of electrons in the valence shell is the reason for chemical reactions, and chemists look to it to explain chemical reactions. So let's be chemists!